Hello, humans. Do you see something different on me today? I think I have new eyes blend shapes. Toki toki brrrr. All right, here we are. And first off, there isn't yet an official Workbench 45.3 release, but it should be inside the day, or the day after, or in a week. I don't really know, it doesn't even matter. You can just put it on Builder and click on Play. Now we sort the release specifically out, let's start with the documentation that features some very nice changes. Search will now display tags with the GTK symbols. There is also a new fuzzy search, so it will still match patterns if we aren't sure about the exact name. And last but not least, we can now search with tags, like finding all GSK methods. Um, also the sidebar selection is now synced with navigation. And, by the way, how do you feel about the close button being conveniently placed on the left? Anyway, on the editor itself, the library window is now launching faster, but I also have to say that the actual inputs of the app are lagging, so performance-wise it could have been better. All right, changes. The demos now provide labels with the available languages, so we don't need to open them anymore for checking, which was so amazingly annoying, especially when not many examples have been ported to all four languages, which reminds me to remind you that's an easy contribution if you want to do, because everyone is nagging about GNOME documentation. Um, on search, the labels are missing, so there you go, one more contribution is available for you. Meanwhile, the best thing about these labels is that aren't just labels, but also buttons. So we can open a demo on the desired language right away. And obviously the desired language is Python. So let's make a few changes. Oh, one more change is that the blueprint is now the default markup. So me is love, me is life, me is low profile. And perhaps to also change something on the Python part, Okay, done, and run, and that was pretty much everything. So, I have the question for those who do PyGTK. If Mojo will get a release, and if it gets open source, and if it is actually a Python superset, that means that GNOME apps on Python will almost automatically run on Mojo, or something super weird will happen with glib.